Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 14th, 2020. So today, da 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 da, love, okay. <laughs> What's the point? Love. Okay. <laughs> now we've had some rough and tumble messages the past few days and you know, sometimes people can't handle that. They just can't handle things not being sugar coated for them. And I hope now you can understand what we're leading towards. This is why we bring those truths out or at least another perspective of a potential truth here. You know what I'm saying? So we can start processing. And this is what we're heading towards. This is uh, being more loving towards one another. Yesterday I was giving, I think it was yesterday, giving some examples about, you know, what, what would it be like if we went out into a world and people just had little acts of kindness? I use the example of holding the door open. And I don't think I went this far with that example, but let's touch upon that again. If I'm someone who, someone is being kind and they open the door for me and I'm like, you know what, I can open up my own doors. Ew, that's not okay. Okay, if somebody, listen to me, you wanna find me in the comments, do it to yourself because <laughs> I ain't gonna read it. But no, I mean, try to tune, as we were saying, tune into the love. Where are there acts of kindness and acts of love being brought to you, even if you are, I don't know if you just, if that's not what you're used to or whatever, that's okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that people think that you're incapable, right? It's a, it's a show of respect and people will argue that. No, that's, you know, you don't understand this history and that history. And listen, if somebody is coming from a good place, <laughs> then let them come from a good place. I, you know, when I'm out and about, let's say there's an older gentleman and he says, oh, here, let me help you out, sweetheart. You know, there are lots of people who would take great offense to that. But again, it comes down to, is he saying, hey, let me help you with that, sweetheart? I'm okay with that, right? If it's some guy who gets up on my face is like, listen, sweetheart, you know, <laughs> guess where I'm pulling that example from? Listen to the dialect. Um, <laughs> listen, sweetheart, you know, that's, that's something different. Now you're being degrading. Now you're you're trying to use that, it, it, words have frequency. But, oops, I just bumped my light. <laughs> words have frequency, and it depends on what the person is putting behind it, yes? So again, let's try to find the love frequency. Let's try to find how we can connect rather than how can we shove each other away? What can I possibly find that's wrong with you so that I don't have to deal with you? What's the fun in that? You kidding me with this? Like, no, we have all these beautiful brothers and sisters out there and we have all come onto this earth to have our very unique experiences. No experience is more valid than another. Let me say that again, picture it lands. No experience is any more valid than another. And we need to find a better way to connect. Put your hand over your heart and take a breath in. I would do it, but I have my microphone right there. <laughs> I'll kind of, I'll kind of shadow over my heart chakra here. <sighs> We're free to love each other. We are free to be good to one another without fear of rejection. And if somebody does reject you when you're trying to be kind, that's on them. It's just showing us where we actually are. Focus on the love and the wisdom opens. Focus on the love and the wisdom opens. And then we remember. We remember the false fight and we disregard it and say, oh, that's not real. We remember we're here to learn. And that makes learning a, a little easier to take, <laughs> maybe in some circumstances. But we start to, um, start to be, yeah, they're saying flowing more into synchronicity, flowing more into just having uplifting connections. And for some reason, they're bringing this up. So I'll just mention it. I'm not really sure how it connects to the love card, but it's coming up. So again, I'm just going to honor that. I have to kind of change names. Okay. So uh, there's a certain talk show that used to have a certain person on there. It was a you know recurring guest. And I just saw, I don't know why this popped up, but it popped up on YouTube. It was one of those autoplay things and it popped up and I'm watching like footage from the 90s, the early 90s of this talk show and people were asking this certain guest these questions 
and every single audience member that stood up, it was all about how do I make more money? When am I going to get married? Go back. I I mean, I'm sorry. I can't give you specifics here because I want to be careful and respectful, obviously. But, um, you know, the things that people were asking were just, we're not there anymore. I mean, some people are. Some people are still in that space, and that's okay. It's not necessarily bad. But it just was mind-boggling that nobody in that audience at that time, in that era, ever bothered to ask about anybody but themselves. It was shocking. And it does kind of help to gauge. I think we've come a little bit further than that. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe not a whole lot further, but a little bit further where it would be downright cringy if that talk show existed today in that same format and people were still asking those kinds of questions. I think people would be, you know, kind of <laughs> putting their heads down and disconnecting, disengaging because, you know, they just, they don't want to feed into that. So again, that example was just coming up and... Um, I think maybe that's to show us, again, that we are a little bit more engaged in love, that we have been making progress, that there's still more to go. There's more to come on this, but your hearts are opening. Yeah, our hearts are opening, and we are getting there. We just have to be patient with ourselves, but keep expanding that awareness. Keep looking at things for what they really are, not what we've been trained to see them as. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.